Yes, it is I. Thine eyes do not deceive you. I am the Savior, the Divine Spirit of the Nintendo Switch. I have come to spread goodwill and great fun. To make you forget about that atrocity the Wii U. To give you divine light. Take thine hand and join me. I am all that you need. Oh, who am I kidding? You people have lost your f minds. Hello everyone, this glorious device you see before your eyes is called the Nintendo Switch. And I must say, the colors of the Joy-Con are representative of the duality that this device faces today. You have the blue Joy-Con, and you have the red Joy-Con. It's almost political, Democrats and Republicans. <laughs> it's... Uh, it's poetic. Uh, the extremes. On this side you have the, the Nintendo Switch that can do no wrong. Everything that comes out for it is amazing, stellar, uh, impenetrable, untouchable. And on the other side you have this is just uh, Vita 2.0. <laughs> That's all the Switch is, Vita 2.0. Nothing special, nothing to see here. Move on. It's a it's a gimmick, it's a fad. It'll go away soon. Don't sweat it. Look the other way. Go play a big boy machine. The duality. <sighs> what can I say? I'm in the middle. I'm, no, I'm not really in the middle. I'm much closer to this blue Joy-Con here, but I like to think myself sensible and not just a blind loyalist, even though I may get accused of that from time to time. That is fine. The Nintendo Switch. A glorious device that I spend many countless hours on and I will spend many countless hours in the future. I can applaud its greatness, and I can point out its flaws. As I've done with many Nintendo devices, I've taken the GameCube to task, I've taken the Wii U to task. Not a, maybe not on the issues that, uh, the, the, the consensus, but on many issues. And I will do the same with the Switch. but. You know, we've gone through our civil war with the Wii U, and we're in the honeymoon period with the Switch, and everything is fine, and for me, mostly everything is fine. Um, I have, you know, minor gripes at this point. Um, uh, we can talk about ports, and it's not a major gripe to me, but I think that's what this, this video is to talk about the glazing over, if you will, of certain things, and the the constant destroying of the past or the need uh, this is a video or excuse me not this video there's this movie that i watched that i loathe called you might have heard of it called star wars the last jedi and there's a line in this movie this atrocity of a film that um that i believe it was kylo ren uh somebody was talking to kylo ren or it was kylo ren himself uh basically talking about the past and how not not only must you move away from the past um, forget about the past to move on to be prosperous in the future but you must destroy the past and I'm seeing that with the Nintendo Switch I'm seeing the destruction of the past needlessly namely the Wii U I'm seeing people trying to destroy the Wii U in favor of the Switch. And it's unnecessary. The Switch can stand on its own. It is a great device. It can stand on its own two feet. There is no need to destroy what the Wii U has given us. But some people feel the need to do so. People that I respect, that I like, that it hurts me to even bring such things up. But I, it's going on and over and over again, and it's just, it's bothersome. 
and a person like me, I just can't sit by on the sidelines and watch this game play out. I must step into the arena. And that is what I'm doing here. I don't understand why the Wii U must fall victim to the Switch. We can just move on from the past and enjoy the future. But some of us cannot. No, some of us need to destroy the past. So there, when you have ports from the Wii U come to the Switch, they are lauded. They are applauded as being so much better. Oh, oh, I, oh the, the, the Wii U versions of these games now are just unplayable. Even though that was not the case, I'd heard no, no such things during the Wii U games when they came out. But now that they're on Switch, oh, the frame rates. God, the frame rates. They're so much better on the Switch. How did I ever play the Wii U before the Switch? <laughs> These games were so inferior. You know, the Smash Brothers, all the online of the Smash Brothers, I can't, it was just so horrible, even though I played it and streamed it night after night. <laughs> Mario Kart on 8, or Mario Kart 8 Deluxe is so much better than Mario Kart 8 for the Wii U. That one missing frame rate has been put back in, in this version. Thank the maker. For such things and games like Bayonetta 2 with its dipping dipping dripping frame rate was basically unplayable even though I played the hell out of it <laughs> but now that it is on switch oh boy it's glorious it's so much better without that stupid gamepad and when you bring us when you inevitably bring us uh, games like Skyward Sword HD with those horrible motion controls. The Switch motion controls would be so much better. It would be such a better game at that point. To hell with those tens it got. You know, the tens. Those were that was just craziness. The game wasn't a 10. Are you kidding me? It used a Wii remote. Not possible. So yes, in favor of the Switch success some people feel that the Wii the the Wii U and the Wii must be destroyed must be laid to bear and I don't understand this I love the Wii I also love the Wii U and I love the Switch that is a thing that can happen you don't have to destroy their past and make an ass out of yourself <laughs> the Switch can stand in its own two Joy-Cons. There is no need to destroy the Wii legacy. From what I know, the Switch, its motion controls, its pointer controls will never be as good as, say, the Wii Motion Plus because it wasn't really designed for that. So when they bring inevitably Wii games, they won't be as good. If they do bring, you know, HD Wii ports, they won't uh, be as good as far as the pointer goes. Unless something is done, maybe it's bundled with some device that helps the tracking of the, the Wii pointer, the Switch pointer. We, we'll see what happens with that. But, can't we all just get along? There is no need to destroy the Wii legacy that is the Wii and Wii U in favor of the Switch. The Switch can stand on its own two feet. Even if it is getting many ports <laughs> from the Wii U, it will stand on its own two feet. And I'll have a video talking about the ports. Because like I said, I'm I'm in between the Joy-Cons as far as the ports go. Nothing overly egregious, but there are ports that annoy me and I will talk about those. But for the most part, I'm fine. I've played ports on many consoles, so this is nothing new. Even though those red Joy-Cons will act like this is the worst thing ever. And the blue Joy-Cons will 
say it's the greatest thing ever. And there's some weird Joy-Con who contacted me recently on a video who I, I like as a person who is a uber blue Joy-Con, super Nintendo fan, but the Switch has disappointed him. He doesn't care for the accolades that Mario Odyssey has gotten or Zelda Breath of the Wild. None of that stuff matters. He has seems to have some kind of stick some kind of stick up his console <laughs> when it comes to the Switch, and I don't understand that. Lord help him. So, yes, people, that is my video. You do not need to destroy the legacy of Wii and Wii U for the Switch to thrive and succeed. It, it is already doing that. It will do that on its own. And it will do that with Wii and Wii U games for the most part. Well, not for the most part, but most likely. There will be more. There have been some already, obviously. So it's just silly. Especially when you didn't have these concessions before with these games when they were on the Wii and the Wii U. I heard no talk of how terrible these frame rates were or how terrible this online was. So it's kind of silly to do retroactive, uh, I don't know what you would call it, retroactive correction, uh, deflection, I don't know. Whatever it is, stop doing that. You look silly. So saith the Almighty. Thank you for watching my video. Make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already. Thanks for watching and listening, and I'll see you foos next time. Peace be unto you. Yeah.